New research out of UC San Diego suggests that honeybees could be dominating the pollination of native plants, so much so that they've monopolized the pollen for other native species to rely on. I talked with a researcher who led the study and show you the impact it could have on our region. Any given day in San Diego, plants and animals are working in harmony, keeping our county the most biodiverse in the continental U.S. But a new study shows that feral, non-native honeybees bred over hundreds of years are now posing a risk in the region to the native bee species. We found that up to, like, on abundantly blooming plant species, honeybees can account for about 90 to 99 percent of all the visitors, um, which is a lot especially since we have such an amazing diversity of, of native pollinating insects here. That's Dylan Travis, the lead researcher in a new study showing that when honeybees hog the resources, native species suffer. Native bees need to spend more time flying around getting resources, so that means they're more open to being predated, like eaten by something, more open to getting diseases. They're not defending their little nests, so there's more of like an opportunity for like some kind of nest predator to come and eat your eggs. Compounding the problem, hives of honeybees work together with the incredible ability to communicate where the pollen is located, often foraging earlier in the day compared to native bees. The honeybees, by doing this little dance in their hive, can communicate the distance and direction of resources, so location, to their nestmates, and so they can recruit their nestmates to the location of resources. Native bees, for the most part, excluding bumblebees, don't do this at all. Honeybees can even leave behind pathogens and diseases that harm the native species of insects. They also promote more inbreeding between plants, lessening their fitness. A plant will make a thousand seeds, maybe 200 of them make it to the ground to, be, to become plants, and then maybe two of them now, because of all this inbreeding depression, actually make it to adulthood. It just makes it really hard for them to survive. But there is something that can be done. While it would be near impossible to eradicate honeybees entirely, and that's not exactly the goal here, it could be easier to just have more pollen available in general. People could replace their lawns with native plants. You know, what if instead of being limited by floral resources, we aren't anymore, if, if native bees are. So while it may not be ideal, you can help do your part to help the native bees with more native plants in your yard. Like, very, San Diego is a very special place, and so, and it's already in peril. We've lost so much of our habitat to just development, um, invasive plant species and stuff like that. So it's, it's worth protecting.